estate is not only open and ready for business, but also prepared to provide all the necessary policy support that would ensure businesses fully settle in and take off smoothly in the state. The overarching objective through the Things Plus Development Agenda is to foster an enabling environment by initiating and implementing policies that promote ease of doing business and facilitating government continuous support that guarantees business success through sustainable practices and inclusive economy. Similarly, through the business-friendly regulations, provision of infrastructure and investments in quality technical education to produce a world-class workforce, the Lagos State Government is committed to ensuring that Lagos remains the first choice for business in Nigeria and across the West African landscape. This is the Greater Lagos Vision and I'm your host, Lovikuku Oyeduku. Welcome. This episode features Lagos. Governor Sawunlu assures manufacturers of support for business growth. Food security. Lagos government building largest food logistics hub in West Africa assures of sufficiency. Lagos government approves 500% car refurbishment loan for state workers. Details of this and many more when we return. Please stay with us. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu has assured manufacturers of government's continued support for the growth of their businesses in the state. Sawolu gave the assurance during the completion ceremony of the first 2,000 vehicles assembled in Lagos by GAC Motors in Ikeja. He said government support would come through business-friendly regulations, provisions of infrastructure, and investments in quality technical education to produce world-class workforce. According to him, the government is committed to ensuring that Lagos remains the first choice for businesses, not only in Nigeria, but across the West African landscape. <music> Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu has restated the commitment of his administration to activate integrated plans to bring about infrastructure and funding that ensures food sufficiency and security in Lagos State. The governor was speaking at the grand finale of the year 2023 World Food Day celebrations held at the police college Ikeja, Lagos. It takes the police college playground, venue of the grand finale of the year 2023 World Food Day celebrations. The day celebrated annually provides a platform for farmers from all 20 local government areas and 37 local council development areas, individuals, organizations and governments to unite in the fight against hunger and malnutrition. The arrival of Governor Babajide Sawonlu heightens celebrations by the farmers. <laughs> Governor Sawunlu says farming is important to his administration to ensure that food is affordable and accessible to rural. He disclosed that his administration is building the largest food logistics hub in West Africa and that phase one of the project will be commissioned next year in order to ensure food sufficiency and security in Lagos State. Two years ago, we started with a five-year strategic plan. Is to now take them to the middle level market. We have built two, three of them. We're building additional five or four or five. So the middle level market will now take it from the main hubs, right? And before it now goes to the last mile, the corner shop market and the markets that all of you see on the day. So we have a robust integrated plan, you know, at ensuring that food sufficiency, food adequacy in Lagos is. Secure. Governor Sawunlu said his government has achieved a lot through the APIS project. He was quick to call for collaboration with farmers in the state and neighboring states to grow more rice paddy. 
Commissioner for Agriculture Abisola Olusonya said the World Food Day celebration was aimed at ensuring farmers in the state were given a space in society. Consumers showcasing that indeed Lagos farmers are to be reckoned with. Um, we have, like I said, the forum focused on issues which we as a government under the leadership of Mr. Babaji are taking care of and we want to assure our farmers that we'll continue to give them the maximum support. She appreciated Governor Sawonlu for recognizing farmers as the bedrock of the nation's economy. The theme for the year is Water is Life, Water is Food, Leave No One Behind. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawonlu has approved 500% car refurbishment loan for state workers. The governor announced this during the swearing-in of Olabode Aguru as the 22nd head of service of Lagos State. <laughs> Seated are members of the State Executive Council, House of Assembly lawmakers, body of permanent secretaries and political leaders. Also here are heads of state government's parasitos, retired heads of service, state employees in different cadres and traditional rulers. They thronged the banquet hall and government house Alausa Ikeja, where the ceremony to usher in the new Lagos Public Service Hemsman was held to witness the former swearing-in of Olabode Aguru into Lagos Public Service as the 22nd head of service. Agoro saw six Hakim Muriokola, who voluntarily retired last September after about five years at the saddle. I, Agoro, Agoro, Shwahi, Olabode, solemnly swear, solemnly swear, and pledge, and pledge, that in the service of Lagos State, that in the service of Lagos State, following administration of the oath, Aguru performed his first official assignment, getting the governor's approval for the long sought of a 500% increase in the car refurbishment loan scheme for the state employees. I just want to showcase the, another example of how you care for public servants. You directed me to bring up a file. I'm not supposed to bring it here, but I'm bringing it up here. So he directed me to bring up a file, and I brought up the file for your kind approval. I apologize for springing this up for you, sir. But sir, today is also a working day. And as we know, you work 24 hours, 7 days a week, in the sun, in the rain, and wading through flood waters, in Adeni Jadele, and all the other states. So sir, I have the file here, sir. It is towards the welfare of public servants. I will address you when I talk. Can I bring it up? The welfare scheme heralded the arrival of a new sheriff in the Lagos State Public Service. Governor Sawolu congratulated the new head of service, noting that the constitution entrusted the office of the head of service with enormous responsibilities to provide direction and leadership for the public workforce. The governor urged Aguru to dedicate himself to the task of governance and work to build on the achievements of his predecessors. Our administration remains committed to the welfare and the training of our public servants. Even as we continue to find ways to support the public service, this is a good platform once again to express administration appreciation to the entire public servants in Lagos State. Giving his vote of assurance, Aguru said he inherited a fantastic, vibrant public service from his predecessor, 
pledging to build on the legacy bequeathed to him. So to the public servants, I promise to you to further promote, to further promote your welfare, your working environment and conditions, and training across all children. The head of service hailed Sawunlu for prioritizing the workers' welfare, pointing out that the approval of the car refurbishment loan scheme would go a long way in motivating the state employees and raise their dedication. Women have the capacity to transform not only lives, but also the broader landscape of the nation and the world if given the needed support. This was a submission of Nigeria's first lady, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, while declaring the 23rd National Women's Conference, which held in Lagos Open. The National Women's Conference is an annual event organized by Committee of Wives of Lagos State Officials Council. It is a platform that brings women together to discuss and develop ideas and solutions that will help to place them at the center of national development. 23rd in a series, the event, just like previous ones, had women from all spheres of life in attendance. The arrival of Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu further ignited the hall. The First Lady of Nigeria, Senator Uluremi Tinubu, declared the conference open. She urged participants at the event to collaborate and support one another in ensuring that every woman in Nigeria has the tools and opportunities to reach her full potential. It's not just about passing our services. It is about uplifting our families, communities, and our great nation as a whole. When women are empowered, society thrives. I call upon each and every one of you to embrace the theme of this conference. Unleash your potential, not only for your benefit, but for your individual states and the benefit of our beloved nation. In his goodwill message, Governor Babajide Sawunlu described the theme of the conference as apt. He underscored the need for women to be more intentional and determined in harnessing their innate abilities. What better time can we unleash our potentials as great mothers, as great women, as great supporters, as great individuals, the great potentials that God has given to you. And so, seize the opportunity of the 2023 Council Conference to unleash your potentials, to rebirth yourself, to renew your commitment at home, in your places of work, in your various businesses, and in everywhere that you find yourself. In her welcome address, Chairman of Council, who is also the wife of Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibijoke Sawunlu, urged participants to take risks, face their fears, and push past their comfort zones in order to discover what they are truly capable of achieving. Potential means nothing in the absence of action. Whatever you do as wives to your husbands, as mothers and grandmothers to your children and grandchildren, as guardians to your wards, as sisters to your fellow sisters, as bosses to your employees, as employees to your bosses, as mentors to your mentees, as businesswomen, as captain of industries and leaders in the marketplace, please make sure that you move your mind to your world. Think out of the box, if there's any box. In the world of in the words of Winston Churchill, continuous effort, not intelligence, is the key to unleashing our potentials. Other speakers at the event included the Senate President, Senator Goswila Kwabiu, and the governors of Oyo, Ogun, and Oshu, who were represented. They lauded the giant strides and the developmental projects already delivered by Koso. <music> Women have been charged 
to carry on with the spirit of empowerment and believe that it can truly make a difference by supporting one another and continue to break down barriers. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawunlu handed down this charge at the closing ceremony of the National Women Conference held in Lagos. It's been three days of intense brainstorming, inspiration, conceptualizing, and creativity. These women have locked horns in this hall, fashioning out how to unleash their potential. They were taken through different presentations and in-depth analysis from brilliant minds with industry experts sharing their thoughts and experiences. In her closing remarks, Chairperson of Council, Dr. Ibijuke Sawunlu, advised all participants to apply lessons, skills and network garnered at the conference to improve on their daily activities. It has been an amazing and life-transforming experience for all participants at this year's conference. We have had top-notch presentations and in-depth analysis from brilliant minds and industry experts who have shared their thoughts and experiences on carefully chosen topics in furtherance of the agenda to ensure that women make the best of our strengths and capabilities as pillars in our various homes and society and effectively deploy the matter. No woman, no woman towards achieving phenomenal heights. With the high level participation of political and economic leaders and women from across the country, as well as the quality of contributions during the interactive session, I am confident that the various conversations at this conference will further inspire women to unleash their potential and influence our dear state and nation significantly. It has also addressed various challenges affecting women and promoting their well-being for a productive and fulfilling lifestyle. Aside from the main theme, we have thoroughly examined other subtopics and these include homestead farming, a positive step towards sustainable national food security. She also encouraged the women to participate actively in the forthcoming national farming competition organized by the First Lady of Nigeria, Senator Oluremi Tinubu. And I'm hoping after this lecture that you had listened to, you will take part in the competition that is coming up where will the um, First Lady of Nigeria has said that she wants to encourage every woman towards national food security. And there is a competition that is taking place across the 36 states in which we'll have to upload and post pictures of us women doing some basic farming in our homes, in our little farm or large farms. And all of us are going to send pictures of these women that are taking part in this competition. And the winner gets all 20 million naira. 20 million naira. She has told us, all first ladies, please search for the winner. Governor Babajide Sawunlu 
was represented by the Secretary to the State Government, Mrs. Abimbola Salu Hundehi. He described the theme of the conference as a call to action for everyone to make a difference, no matter the background or circumstances. Make a difference, whether you are a student, a professional, a businesswoman, a mother or a leader, your potential is boundless. Let us support one another and continue to break down barriers, challenge stereotypes and create opportunities for women to excel in every field. In conclusion, I would like to express my appreciation to the faculty of this conference. I know that your vast experience and deep knowledge have impacted positively on everyone who participated in this conference. My gratitude also goes to Kalsu for their dedication to this conference and their tireless efforts to empower women. In his keynote address, the governor of Bauchi State Bala Mohammed, who was represented by his deputy, Mohammed Awal Jatau, disclosed that his administration is committed to the cause of empowering women in a bid to achieve gender equality. We have a responsibility to create an enable environment that encourages entrepreneurship and fosters economic empowerment for women. Access to capital market Business training and mentorship program are essential in supporting women-owned businesses and facilitating their growth. By doing so, we are not only empowering women economically, but also driving economic development and poverty alleviation within our states. As the tradition, this year's edition of the National Women's Conference also saw some men and women who have distinguished themselves in various fields honored. We are one, we are called so, called so, and we stand by our husbands. We are the mothers of the land. We will. That's all we have for you on this episode of the Greater Lagos Vision on Plus TV Africa. I'm Lovikuku Oyedoku. Bye for now. <laughs>